with another tutorial. Oh my god, you guys. It's been like a month, month and a half since I've uploaded another video. Oh my god, I've been so out of the loop. And I'm so sorry, you guys, but my life kind of took a little turn here. And then it took another turn over there. And, you know, I got lost somewhere in Albuquerque. <laughs> but anyway, look at this look, you guys. How intense is this look? I love it. I feel so rock star right now. I feel like playing Guitar Hero or something. <laughs> so um, I've used a combination of colors. Um, I am trying out a new product, as you'll see. It's an eye primer that you know I picked up. I figured, let me give it a shot. Why not, right? So I won't be reviewing it, but you know, maybe another video. Use my double stack palette, my Color Institute palette, couple brushes. So you know. Hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and if you want to learn how to do this bad boy right here, just keep watching. So I went ahead and completed one eye. I'm going to go ahead and get started on the next one. I'm trying out a new product, an eye primer by Palladio. It's an herbal eyeshadow primer. Can you guys see that? So I'm not going to review it on this video, but... I'll use it a few times and then I'll let you guys know what I think. So I'm just going to plop that right on the lid. Spread it around a little more. And let's see here. Nature's tool, guys. Get the pinky out. Work that bad boy in. And bring it up all the way up to the brow bone. off cold pencil and the color is jet black number 061 so I'm just gonna apply that on the lower part of the lid if you feel like you need some more you can even just rub it right onto your finger and then apply it on the lid and that allows for a softer application of color. You don't really need a lot because we are going to be working with a black shadow. But you just want to make sure you get as even an application as you can. I'm going to grab my extra large round shadow brush and dip it into the black. Tap off any excess and start tapping the color in. Start bringing it up into the brow bone using tapping motions. tapping motion actually helps to avoid fallout but when you're working with such dark colors it's really tough to avoid the fallout so I usually leave the application of any uh, face lotions or even like um, your foundation you want to leave it for after you do the cleanup on your fallout Grab a regular shadow brush. This is a, I would say about a regular size. And I'm gonna dip into this red color from the Color Institute. It's actually like more like a plum color. I'll show you guys real quick if I can get it in there. Just that one right there. I'm just gonna tap in a tapping motion like that. Get my color on the brush and then apply it on the edge of the black. And start blending it in. Once you tap your color in, you can start using little circles, little swirling motion to blend the two together and bring it all the way in. Get a regular large shadow brush and 
to soften those edges up a little bit, I'm going to use my pressed powder in medium from Revlon. Tap that bad boy in, get your color, and then work it around the edges. And this will just soften that edge a little bit. I'm going to tap into the champagne color right there from my Color Institute palette. And I'm going to use that as my highlight right underneath the brow bone. And then just make sure you blend it away. I'm going to grab a smaller brush and use this rosy color right next to this plum one, this one right here. And then just tap it in right on that edge just to give a little bit more of that pink hue like I've done on this side. Bring it down. And just remember to blend your colors in really well. Excellent. Now I'm going to use this pencil from Sephora and it is in 031B or maybe, no, maybe it's 500. I'm not sure. It was a gift, but it's from Sephora and it's like a white, like an icy white color. And then just line the bottom underneath the lashes. go back to my extra small shadow brush and I'm going to grab that same pinky rosy color right here actually it's that one right there and apply it on top of the white icy liner and don't worry if it looks too thick because when we do our cleanup we're going to make sure it looks pristine. <laughs> and then just pull the color out like that. If I've already done the cleanup on this eye, so let's go ahead and take care of this eye. And I'm just using a regular baby wipe. Nothing super special. Go ahead, get rid of that. And I'm just going to finish defining the eyebrow. I'm going to set the edge with a black eyeliner, just a matte black eyeliner, and my angled liner brush right at the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara and I'll be right back. So I've gone ahead and put the eyeliner on and I've also um, done some eyeliner on the rims of my eyes, the waterline and on the top underneath the top lashes. So I'm going to show you what I do um, for the rest of my face, especially now that it's summertime. I actually use a combination of my face lotion 
and Foundation by Mary Kay. I don't know if you guys could see that with the white background on there, but this is my Mary Kay Foundation in medium. It has medium coverage. So I'm going to show you. I'm just going to mix this up real quick. So it's a bit of a messy blob, right? I just go ahead, mix that right on my fingertips, pat it on. I get my SPF as well as a light coverage of color on my face. Now I'm going to use a contouring brush as a blush brush and I'm going to go to my double stack palette and because the colors are so dark and intense on the eye I'm actually going to use this orangey coral color right here for a blush just tap right in and apply that so I look like I have a healthy glow from a tan of sorts tap in apply that And then for the lips, I want to do something a little neutral, but that you could see the hint of color behind it. Because on this particular look, I want the eyes to just plow, come at you. So what I'm actually going to do is use this lip liner from Boutique and is in Champagne Bronze. And I'm just going to apply that liberally all over the lips. And just to add a little bit of glossiness, I'm just going to use this plumping lip gloss. And it's just a pink kind of shimmery color, nothing too intense. I'm just going to pop it right in the middle. And there you have it. There's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go ahead, comment, subscribe up here with the yellow my little yellow subscribe button up here. Leave your comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.